I'm going to show you some examples using basic calculations with the guaranteed analysis. And I've chosen a really simple garden type fertilizer to work with, but perhaps it's one that you are familiar with. I've got a 5105 listed here. And remember what this means, guaranteed analysis, is no matter what the weight is, five pounds, five grams, 5,000 pounds, whether it's a liquid or solid, it's a guarantee that it is 5% nitrogen, 5% phosphate, P2O5, and 5% potash, K2O. So I was looking through some previous soil test recommendations I've got from some athletic fields and I found one that had a recommendation that soil test said you need to apply 40 pounds of P2O5 per acre on an athletic field in order to raise the soil test phosphate levels to acceptable levels. So 40 pounds of P2O5 per acre. That's what we need to apply to correct our soil deficiency in phosphorus. Let's use the 5105 source in order to apply that in this example. So what I need is 40 pounds of phosphate per acre. What I have is a product which is 10% P2O5 by weight. Okay, so there's a couple of things I can do with that 10% number. I can multiply by it, and if I went with 40 times 0 0.1, I get 4. All right, so look at that number. Is there any way that 4 pounds of 5105 can give me 40 pounds of phosphate? No. So let's quickly, let's get rid of that. And again, this is where I always tell my students, this is the common sense component of these calculations. But what will work and what does make intuitive sense is if I take the 40 pounds of P2O5 per acre and divide that number by the phosphate analysis, which is 0 0.10. And anytime you divide by a fraction, that's going to give you a much larger number. In this case, it's going to be 400 pounds of 5105. And intuitively, that is possible. And if we want to check ourselves to make sure, well, is that really the right number? Okay, if we take 400 pounds of that fertilizer times its phosphate analysis, 10%, 0 0.10, that equals 40 pounds of P2O5. So that is the amount that we would need to apply 40 pounds of phosphate to the acre. Now let's clear the screen and let's do a little more work with this calculation. We know that we want 400 pounds of 5105 per acre and that's going to deliver our targeted goal of 40 pounds of phosphate per acre. Okay, how much will we also be applying nitrogen and potash? Because remember, these are in here at a 5% level. In this case, we're going to multiply by each of those nutrient analyses. In this case, they both happen to be 5%. But 400 times 0 0.05 for both nitrogen and for potash is going to equal 20 pounds of nitrogen and it's going to equal 20 pounds of potash. So every time that we would apply 400 pounds of 5105 per acre we would be delivering 40 pounds of P2O5 which was our target. We would be delivering 20 pounds of K2O and we would be delivering 20 pounds of nitrogen.